Hello Zipperherd and welcome back to ARMS and today we're going to be continuing on with the Grand Prix and be doing the fourth level this time um, instead of three because we've been doing level three well we did level two and then we did level three and now it's time for level four as Ninjara probably one of my favorite characters to play out of all the ones I have played so far unfortunately I've never beaten anything at level four so we're going to find out if it's too much for me or not I hope not but let's go we're going to find out together Oh, I'm sort of nervous, but well, let's just get started and we'll find out together. Like I literally just said, live from Ninja College, the wisdom, the intelligence, the luminosity of the Arms Grand Prix is upon us. And who else would be here to share in this action-packed event but your buddy Biff? I don't know. Okay, Ninjara, if you're just tuning in, all the eyes are glued on the elusive trickster known as Ninjara. He's 21, so he's my age. His mastery of ancient ninja techniques allow him to disappear in midair, but where does he go? According to his headmaster, the Grand Prix doubles as Ninjara's senior project. Let's hope he's ready. So his hobbies are hiding and reading. Will Ninjara pass with flying colors? We're about to find out because arms, because the arms Grand Prix is about to begin. Interesting. So like, if he does, he fails being a ninja, or he just has to try again. The Man of Mystery Helix. Okay, we're actually starting with one of these kind of characters. Cool. Match one stealth attack. It's Ninjara versus the Man of Mystery here. I don't know, like maybe it depends on who you choose will determine which enemies you get right away. I'm not really sure what determines it. Or if it's random every time, you might want to put something. I gotta start reading those because I do sort of give you hints on what's going on. Um, I don't know really what I want to do here. Probably this. So a lot of you guys have been trying to give me tips in the comment section. I really appreciate it. So the thing about Ninjara, as we heard described, Ooh, that was pretty good right there, is that if we jump and then we dash, we actually just sort of disappear from thin air for a little bit. And that's gonna be a big use for us. If we can find out how to dash in the air properly, we can just completely, you know, be able to dodge things because we aren't physically there to receive the damage. The thing I gotta be careful about, oh, I got you again, is I don't wanna make myself vulnerable. And you guys are giving me, give me a lot of tips on how to do that. Now I'm very tired today, but I had to record because of course, I gotta get videos out. So I hope that I'm gonna be awake enough to do stuff. Oh, oh, that hit me. Oh, he's going in his super mode already? Wow, that was pretty quick. I still have plenty of health though. Whoa, whoa. I've been trying to grab him when of course he makes himself vulnerable, but that's what I'm talking about. I go for too many grabs and then I end up making myself, you know, regret what I just did. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay, that didn't hit me, but it did hit him. Oh geez, that's sort of the thing that um the big blob thing sort of does a decent job at blocking it. Let's go ahead and throw that way over there. And it hit him on the behind, on the way back. <laughs> that was a good little move right there. So I was able to do that, but I actually did get pretty low on health at some points. I think keep with what we got. Especially, yeah, he sort of seems to be, for the most part, keeping with what he has too. Let's uh, throw that out. Oh, that could have hit him. I'm waiting for things to charge up. Oh, but he shielded it. But now that he's gotten his shield out, I can just do that and take the opportunity. So one thing is that one one thing you guys have been describing to me, oh geez, ouch, that hurt. Uh, is that like when I hit them like that and they fall back, apparently that is called a flinch, and that's gonna be something important to keep in mind. Whoa, oh, oh, okay, that was totally accidental. <laughs> um, because you know when they flinch, I think I can hit them one more time if I can hit them before they hit the ground. Oh, oh no, what? Oh, darn, I thought I pressed the button to dodge that, but I guess I didn't. Come on now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But that's the sort of thing about that arm in particular is that, oh, that actually can hit you. Um, is that while he's like doing the little blast, he's sort of very open for any of these kind of attacks. And we do a decent you know, amount of damage for our, our grab here. So that's like, grabbing this guy is gonna be a pretty good idea because he always has his arms out like that, which just makes him super vulnerable. Especially somebody like Ninjar who can just sort of maneuver around a lot in the air. And we're really getting him low now. Ooh, ooh. And definitely with his shield. Oh, that that looked like it went through him, didn't it? Ooh, go like that. Oh, he dodged it though, did you see that? Now, I'm on the downhill now, so I don't like that too much, but we got him. But that's sort of something that probably works well with his shield arm, is that he was facing down to me, right? So he, he had the upper, you know, advantage, and that's probably really tough for that kind of a shield. When I was above him, I could just sort of jump over the range of the shield. So that's good to keep in mind. But yeah, I think that dead, that's definitely one of the best maps for Ninjara, which is pretty obvious. They usually seem to make it that way. 
Oh, we're going against Master Mummy. Usually these characters we don't go towards, go against until like the second half of the Grand Prix. We're going against right away this time. It's Ninjara versus the Grim Creeper, Master Mummy. Much like Ninja College, the mausoleum is located deep in the woods. But you know me, Biff will come running anywhere there's a fight going down. Me too, Biff, me too. But I'm going to watch, I'm not going to fight. So, let's try this. No, I wanted, I, okay, that was a mistake. I was trying to go for the Tri-Blaster in this, but we'll just do what we can with this. So, once again, I'm gonna be trying the same thing. He has a very slow shield arm, so that's when I'm gonna wanna go for a, uh, a charge like that, but that was dumb of me. That was just like, admittedly really dumb of me, but now, oh, ooh, that was a good move by him. I can't believe I missed that. Ooh, ooh, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't move that fast. Oh my gosh, he's fast, or I'm slow. One of the two, I need a nap. <laughs> that should hit him unless he backs up. Okay, he backed up enough for it. Oh, but I got you there, boom. See, I don't know how you break this thing in the center. Oh, no, if it was a little bit faster, that would've been fine, but I got him there. Okay, Ooh. once again, as soon as he throws his arms out, because he has a very slow retracting arm. Whoa, whoa, okay, I gotta get in shield. There we go, that was good. Whoa, I didn't realize he could do that. That is so cool. So like, I blocked there, and I'm guessing I couldn't do that. Oh, that is so cool. I'm not pressing any buttons there except for block. Ooh, got you again. Man, this is actually getting really close, so I gotta be careful. Ooh. Oh, that was a good dodge there. But I got him, he's down, boom! And I still don't have my super move, but hopefully I can activate that next round. Cause I think that, I don't really know how that works. Is it when our super move is full, it carries over, or will we start from zero this time? Let's do this. No, we still have our same amount of supers last time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no, I messed that up. Oh, you actually got me there a little bit. See, he has a different setup now. He's healing a lot. That was sort of a bait, I think. Ooh, come on, come on. Ah, uh, whoa, no, okay, there we go, we got him that time. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh, that's gonna be blocked, that's gonna be blocked. But I, I still did some damage to him, and now his arms are broken, I can kick him and punch him and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, get that, that was a good one, that was a good one. Unfortunately, he did not get hit by it, but neither did I. Ooh, that was good. Whoa, 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 ooh. This is pretty crazy. Come on now, ooh, that was good. Bada boom. This is a little scary, but I did want to say thank you guys so much for your support in the first episode. I recorded episode one and two right at the same time, so like I didn't actually see your guys' comments or responses to anything, but now that I have, I'm really happy with it. So thank you guys so much for your support in the first episode and the second episode. I hope it carries over to this one as well, but I'm sure it will because you guys are always awesome that way. But yeah, I just, I appreciate it. You know, we're always trying new games and new things on this channel and it usually turns out pretty well for the most part. And I just, I, I like that. I also like Ninjara's fashion style a lot. Like, he looks cool. I really like his shoes. Like, I would totally wear those kind of shoes if I had feet. But I'm not. I, I don't. I'm a zebra. I have hooves. I mean, well, I could wear shoes, but just wouldn't really fit. <laughs> I, I think you get it. Oh, we're doing some basketball. Who against who? Twintel. Okay. I've definitely not done basketball against Twintel. <laughs> Sneaking on. Let's mix it up and play some hoops. It's b-ball and twist, you gotta throw, or with a twist, you gotta throw your opponent in the you know basket. Dunk or toss them in for two points, or dunk them in behind for three. First, did, okay. We already know this. Little pep to your step. I think we'll do double buffs. Cause the buffs here, when they charge up. Oh boy, oh boy. I, I'm now, now I'm used to Master Mommy. <gasps> oh, you missed, you missed! Oh no, okay, don't give her another opportunity. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, not giving you the opportunity that time. I love how the music sort of stopped for a second. Whoa, 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 okay, that hurt. That's the thing, I don't really know too much about what Twintel does. Oh no. But level four difficulty is what we wanna beat because at level four difficulty, we actually unlock an extra round in Grand Prix that you don't do at the earlier difficulties. And also, if we can beat level four today, that means we can also, we're allowed to play ranked mode. If you don't be level four of Grand Prix, you're not allowed to play ranked mode. I don't know if we'll ever play ranked mode, but it'll, it'll be fun to have that opportunity. I know. Oh, that hurt. Okay, she didn't miss that time. The music, it's all silent. I actually really like that. It's pretty cool, it's tense. Oh, no, 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 no. You were supposed to get hit. There you go, get, get, whop. <laughs> okay, so she scored a three-pointer at that one segment. Okay, come on now. Come on, come on, throw it, throw it. Oh, you were waiting. 
Oh, I should not be impatient like that. Okay, she's in the lead again. She's in the lead again. This actually has like a fair amount of strategy. What? No way. Come on, miss. Are you kidding me? That one threw her. Come on. I get it. You know, she, she probably doesn't have as big of a hitbox as Master Mummy, but like, ugh. Oh, she actually got me. And she's just floating in the air. Cause she's a magician. We're rematching her. We're not going down like that. This is the, my favorite thing about it, is that you really can just try an indefinite amount of times, which is nice. Come on. Jeez, and she just gets to reflect things over and over again. Like, I don't know what, where that ends and where it begins. Like, I feel like it's one of those things where I just, I won't really understand it until I just play as her, which, you know, will happen eventually. We're playing all the characters in order, because that's fun. Look at it, you know, I can stand here all day. I'm in the leading points. I hope you know this. Ooh, oh. oh, no. Oh, punching that. Moving over here. Oh, that didn't hit you. Come on, throw it. Give me your best shot, lady. Because we can stand like this all day. Might make for some, you know, boring content. <laughs> Look at the way she walks out, sort of funny. What? Oh my gosh, what? Okay, come on. No, no. Ooh, bouncing off of here. Oh, I got you though. I missed. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. Come on. Yeah, make my day, lady. Make my day. I, I missed. I missed the dunk. How do you miss a dunk? Well, come on, miss. I just missed two or Yeah, okay, I was gonna say. It's not fair if you don't miss, because I missed two times in a row there. Oh, jeez, come on. She's just, like, sort of waits to capitalize on you throwing. Like, she's definitely a more patient character. Whoa, whoa. Come on, get her, get her, get her, get her. Yes, that's good, that's good, that's good. She's taking it. Ooh, come on, bouncing. Bada boom, three points from me. So what you gonna do, lady, huh? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You just gonna let a timeout, huh? I think you are. Woo, woo, woo. So that's the thing about her, you just get two points and then you dance around her for a minute and then you win. What is with that? She's like, oh darn, I forgot to play. <laughs> that was so weird. All right, I'm super self-conscious about drinking my tea now because people said they could hear me doing it last episode. I was like, oh no, that's gross. I'm sorry. I always try to cut it out, but and sometimes I forget in editing. We're going against Bite and Bark. Ooh. I think this is the first time we've actually fought against Bite and Bark. I think we've only played against him in volleyball. We're gonna find out. And the dog lover, Bite and Bark, as a dog lo lover, Bite and Bark something. Gosh darn it, I messed up reading it and then I can't end up reading it. What do you know? Ugh. So yeah, he has a little doggy pal. We'll do this. No, I messed it up. I don't know why I do that. Because the joystick is in the way of when I want to, you know, press, you know, L and R. Oh no, dang it. But he has a little doggy pal that can actually make things much tougher because a doggy pal can throw a punch every once in a while. I don't know if you get to control the doggy at all, but we'll find out once we play Bite and Bark. Stay tuned to that episode. Ooh. Oh, is his puppy's down. Ow, that, that, that my face. Oh, he bounced off the puppy. Oh, that was cool. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, ooh. sorry puppy, I feel so bad. Oh, ow. No, no, no. Whoa, not happening, buddy. Not that, you gotta be a little bit quicker than that. Okay, well. I wonder if I could accidentally grab the dog. Ooh. So with the buff right here, this one's actually pretty weird because like most of these like arms and stuff, they'll have some kind of effect. Okay, buddy, I'm getting sick of you. You were in the air, so I'm definitely gonna take the advantage while I can. That was pretty good. Oh, that missed, I curved it by accident. Ooh, I don't like that. That sort of didn't feel so good. Okay, yeah, the puppy was in the way of the grab there, but it he is really keeping his distance, too. That's making it tough for me. Ooh, 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 yeah, get over! <laughs> he sort of like does like some kind of weird Transformers combination. I don't think Transformers do that. <laughs> when he we, he went into his super there, like the puppy like combined with him. I gotta get closer to him. Yeah, get over here. Thing is, I knock him a little bit farther away. Okay, I gotta get the puppy out of, puppy. Yeah, okay, I got him. That might actually get me into the leading points or in health for the next second or two. Ooh, ooh, I'm just gonna dodge around, see if I can't get him to time out. Yeah, I think we won that one. We did. Awesome. Look at this, look at this. High stakes ending. <laughs> okay, I wanted to do this. Go for a punch, knock out the puppy. Oh, oh, look at that super long range. 
Oh, I didn't like I didn't even mean to throw both out there. I keep just making a mistake. There we go. Nice. I know I'm sort of resorting to just throwing a bunch of uh, grabs again. Oh, I blocked his that time. Okay, there we go, there we go. His arm's out, so now's the perfect time to start throwing stuff. I'm like barely hitting him, but I still got to like, I think almost a quarter of health out there. Oh no, oh, he got me good there too. Man, yeah, see, like the dog goes onto his head. That's funny. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I'm like using the, the, the block move to get closer to him. I like that. Because I'm like taking advantage of his vulnerabilities while doing that. Ooh, I almost got him. Ooh, ooh, come on, come on. Ooh, I think he baited me that time. Are we gonna go for a double timeout right now? We might have to. <laughs> that went right over my head. And I don't mean as in like I didn't understand the joke. Oh, we got him like out of the air too. I wish I could hop off the puppy. That'd be a fun little way to counter it. All right, I just gotta be careful for you now. Ooh. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Oh, come on, can I get him? Yes, I can. Nice, that was great. So there we go, we beat Bite and Bark. He's an interesting character to go against for sure. And Ninjara wins another. He gets for such like a close up on the screen. He's like, hey, there's nothing in my hair, right? <laughs> All right, so what, what match is that? That was the fourth match, I think. Yes, yeah, so now we're going in the match five reaching that halfway point. Things have been tough so far. This has been a long haul. We got Spring Man though, with his springy sideburns. <laughs> I like how we get his freak out and start just punching super fast. Oh, I gotta get a work in now. Work, no, work out in, not working out. His arms are springs. I know, I've played as him before. So we really don't need to hear him too much here because we already know the gist of what he's gonna sign. Let's do this. Try blasting this. I'm gonna wiggle, I'm gonna wiggle, I'm gonna wiggle. What? Okay. Okay. There we go, I got, I got you back down. I think we both have the same amount of damaging when it comes to the grab. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. I gotta be quicker than that. I gotta be quicker than that. But I press my, if you say so. Ooh, okay, that time I definitely pressed both. Why is it when I'm not trying to press both buttons at once, I don't throw my throw, or my grab. Okay, buddy, this guy is tearing me up right now. No. I'm on block, block, I, uh, I don't understand what's happening to the game right now. Like it seems like whatever buttons I press don't activate. Oh my gosh. Like, okay, so when he threw his super, I blocked and it made me dodge. I was still holding the block button, but he just didn't continue his block for no reason. We're gonna switch it up again. What was with that? All right, you know what? I am sick of you already and I've, I've gone, gone against you for like two seconds. Ooh, got you there, nice. All right, ooh, 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 ooh. No, I keep on curving my throw or my grab or whatever the, you know, you're supposed to call these things. Man, it's just like, even just like a slight miss is so much, it's insane. Come on, I'm almost building up my super here. He's gonna block that. And then he didn't block that though, so that's good. I'm gonna take advantage of that as much as I can. He's down less than half now. Oh, man, once again, I definitely press both buttons at once there. Maybe like my my Joy-Cons or whatever they're called. Yeah, they're not Wiimotes, I was about to call them that. Maybe they're dying, maybe like my battery's going low. I don't think so though, I thought I'd charge these things, but I probably forgot, because that's something I'd do. Ooh, yeah, there we go, just as he was about to land, so there wasn't too much he could do, his arm was already out. Oh, I almost did it again. No, I did not get the block there, I almost did. It'd be cool if there's a character who could just slam to the ground so that he could get his block up super fast. I mean, okay, so there is one thing that I, you know, I couldn't talk about last episode because it, it didn't actually happen when I recorded last episode, like it hadn't happened yet, but they had announced the first bit of DLC for this game, and it's that um, sometime next month, we should be able to play as Max Brass. Um, he's gonna become a free DLC character for everybody to play. Also, we beat up Springman, thank goodness, but um, right now, in the game currently, you cannot unlock Max Brass, the guy we have faced off against twice now and we've won both times. Uh, we have n we, we, there's no way to unlock him. But with the DLC update coming next month, he should be, he'll become a playable character. He'll be Arms' 11th character, which is actually really cool, especially since, of course, it's free. Come on, throw something. Ooh, there we go, there we go, there we go. That was perfect. I was waiting for him to get into the air there, and that's exactly what he did. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nope, not gonna happen that time. Ooh, ooh I was waiting for it. 
Thing is, I don't really want to be too close. Like, I need to be mid-range compared to Springman, I think. He seems to really beat me up when I'm too close. Ooh, I got you there, though. Get out of here, bunny. Don't want to see you. He has a super, though, so I gotta be careful. Ooh, ooh. Because if I... Oh, oh, see, okay, so maybe that's just sort of something that happens, and last time it was just a fluke. Because when I block now, it just, like, once I do that one dodge, it's done. It's over. Oh, oh. Oh, too fast for you, buddy? Too fast? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I got you there with the Tri Blast. I think it's a Tri Blast has some good range to it. Oh, oh, ow. Come on, throw one more. Throw one more, thank you. Goodbye. We beat Spring Man. That was a pain in the booty. <laughs> that was the first round we've lost so far. We, we lost, oh no, we lost the basketball. What does that count? I mean, I guess. I guess it sort of counts. Oh, <sighs> next round, round six. Who are we gonna get against? Blah. Oh, it's it's Vibon. I'm gonna get gonna guess. Okay, I was gonna guess Ribbon Girl, and it was Ribbon Girl. I just couldn't speak correctly for quick enough, you know, to be able to say that. Let's get a workout in this time too. I'm so ready for volleyball. So ready. All right, we know how it goes. We know how it goes. We can skip some of this. <laughs> I look so silly. I think we just want to do double buff. I just don't think we need anything too much more than that. We need to just keep it nice and simple. Something where you can stay accurate with. Oh boy. What? Yeah, that was good. And that's a point for me. I don't know why I didn't explode the first time I touched the ground. I guess there's a little bit of leeway. Ooh, like that? What are you even doing, Ribbon Girl? What are you even doing? You're like way too far back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay, never mind. You stay far back as much as you want. Okay, it's at three points right now. She can turn that around nice and quick, so we gotta be careful. My phone alarm, I don't need to do chores right now, phone, and it won't turn off. There we go. It's like, you know, you know, my phone's supposed to have a touch screen, it doesn't wanna work today. Maybe because I dropped it in a cat water bowl the other day. <laughs> okay, come on. No time to worry about broken phones. Oh yeah, get it, get him. No, why do they do that every time? Okay, come on, keep it over there, keep it over there. No, keep it, keep it. Keep it, how did you miss? How did you miss? Yes, okay, we made it. I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, okay, we won. Even with my, what? But the timer went to zero, zero. I thought, I swear that the timer went to zero, zero before that ball dropped in. I was not ready for that. Okay, well I still won. I'm glad we weren't tied or nothing. Next match, I've actually never drawn with anybody in this game, I don't know what happens. I guess you just do it again. Or maybe you both get a point? That'd be weird though. Either way, we're going to get Min Min now as I hold back a burp. The Robin Bomber Min Min. Her backflip somersault kick can knock opponent's arms to the ground. Don't get distracted thinking about lunch, Ninjara. Stay focused and fight to win. Isn't that a little presumptuous to assume that, you know, just because there's ramen, he's thinking about lunch? I, I, I hope that's not. Presumptuous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's a good start for us. You, yeah, that's that's gonna be a big you know opportunity for us if she has both the double dragon right now. They, they, I'm gonna be able to hit this every time. You keep doing that, lady. Cause I'm stinking dude, man. It's just what I do. Is I, oh, and as long as she has one of those dragon arms out, I'll be able to take this huge advantage. Oh, no you don't. Okay, got you again. Can I perfect turn? Can I perfect anybody? And level four, that'd be great. Ooh, well, that was a good dodge there. She was about to throw it. She sort of like confused me there, because then she blocked. That was a good like sort of sneak, sneaky sneak. Oh, you actually got me with that one. No, my perfect game. It's ruined. Oh, just nope. Oh, oh, excuse me, pardon me. What? Okay, that time I pressed the dodge button and nothing stank and happened. I think my joy cons are like dying or something. Gotcha. Boom. Bam. I'm gonna throw this one way over there. Didn't do too much. Ooh, that almost got you. But once again, she has a little dragon out. That's gonna be a bad idea. Min Min is a really cool character design though. Like, I can't wait to play as her and just sort of see what it feels like to play as the ramen bomber. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep with that. That was pretty good. Ooh, threw that all the way around. All the way around town. I feel like I have such a hard time getting it to land though. Oh, almost in that time. Okay, go, 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 go. 
Yeah, that was good, that was good. I'm getting used to some mechanics, not so much others. Like, timing is something I'm getting a little better with. She actually has no dragons at all this time, so it is gonna be a bit different, but she has that thing. And I feel like Min Min so far seems like a character that needs to strike first. Oh boy, is that gonna land on her? It is not. Oh, oh no, that was, ugh. how did I not see that as an, a grab? Oh, I should have taken the opportunity there while well, I could get it, and now I just ruined that. Ooh, oh no, she still has it going on, I gotta be careful. <laughs> I thought it was over. It was not, boom. I think we're gonna be able to win both rounds here. No perfect game for me so far. That's oh, okay, ooh, that's gonna be good. Oh, how'd you back out of that? I mean, pretty simple, you just walk the opposite direction. Ooh, come on, hit me with your best shot. Ooh, oh, oh. oh, okay, you did. Neither of us actually landed our best shot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no. Oh boy, come on, I should've just punched. Like I had the opportunity to punch her. Come on, get her, get her, get her. Yeah, okay. But I definitely had the opportunity to punch her and just like punch away her grab and I just didn't. I just sort of froze. And that's something I can't do. And yeah, we won, that's a cool one. I like that victory pose. But let's keep going, that was round seven or eight. Yeah, okay, that was seven. So now we got match eight. We're making a way through. It's definitely at these later difficulties. I mean, not even later, like we're, you know, the middle difficulty. It takes so long. We have Mechanica. Mechanica is so cool. Of course, I said before, she reminds me of D.Va for obvious reasons. But like, I'm not super futuristic. So like, that's sort of a thing. Is ARMS futuristic or is it just sort of alternate universe? Like, it's hard to say. I mean, it sort of is futuristic, but at the same time, it's not like Overwatch kind of futuristic. Oh, she almost broke the pillar there, be careful. This is your hometown, you don't wanna beat up the whole place. But while I have the opportunity to, I might wanna use these pillars to my advantage, if I can. Ooh, I got her a little bit there. I almost got her there. Ooh, punch that, right to you. I'm trying to distract her with like that kind of stuff. Oh boy. Oh, no! Oh, I should've taken the opportunity to grab there while I could've. Ooh, ooh, yeah, there we go. That almost didn't get her, but I, I just sort of held to the left and hoped it would, and it did. This is, that's sort of another thing, though, is that, like, one thing is, like, why can she move around when she throws her punch, but I can't? Like, that's sort of weird, because that's sort of something that happened there. Ooh. See, that time I kept blocking after I dodged. Like, I don't get that. Like, sometimes it does, sometimes it's sort of wishy-washy. I don't understand why it's wishy-washy. This is gonna be blocked. Yep, that was horrible by me. Ooh. Come on now. No! I really don't like these 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 fists. These arms are probably one of my least favorite to go against so far because they're so stinking big. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Darn it. Come on. Oh, that was quick. That was real quick. There we go. She was in the air there, so that was definitely like a decent time to throw it. Ooh. Ooh. She got me a little bit. We're actually pretty close right now. Come on, come on. No! no. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay, I think I just went with that. I think we were already in the lead, but that made it a little bit better. That was close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just collapse. I think it's really cool though, because it's like Mechanica probably has one of my favorite story elements to a character so far. Is that from what I see at least, I mean I haven't like read anything about like too much about the character story for the most part. But like I think I can I can sort of assume that Mechanica wanted to be somebody who had arms, but of course she doesn't. So she said, Okay, I'm gonna make, you know, the most of what I can and create something that has arms for me. That way I can, you know, do what I wanna do. And you know, that's what she did. And now she has arms technically, because she has a robot that has them. And, you know, like that's really cool. At least in my opinion. Ooh, that was pretty decent. I haven't seen anybody play as Mechanica yet though. That's an interesting thing. Is she not a good character? Or maybe she's one of those, you know, right now not too many people play as her because not too many people have actually mastered her, but in like a couple months from now, nobody will want to go against her because there'll be just some insane Mechanica players. That would That's something I'd like to see. But bada boom. Speaking of which, sorry Mechanica, we beat you up. I'll probably talk more about Mechanica once we play as her. Maybe Biff will have some interesting things to say, but. For now, she must fall to the ground in the way of Ninjara. 
because he needs to graduate to ninja class. Next round. We seem to be getting a little bit more credits. Apparently we get a lot of credits if we can complete the 11th round. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. We'll give it a shot. It's Kid Cobra. <sighs> Seize the spotlight. Let's get excited, let's get hype, let's get hype, let's get hype, let's get hype. He's smooth and quick as a snake on the prowl. Snake versus Ninja, it's that B-movie dreams are made of, but not the B-movie, you know, that, that's a different kind of B-movie. Let's do this. All right. Oh, that hurt, that definitely hurt. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, you threw yours, I'll throw mine. How about that? But you throw yours first. Jeez, it, it just moves so quick, it sort of hurts my eyes. Oh, you're not helping me out here. Come on, gimme, gimme. Bada boom, let's stick off of these things, or I'll stay on one, you go away. <laughs> no, don't you dare, don't you dare go on that thing. Come on. No, no, he's back on it, what? My snake board hit it. Luckily it didn't do too much, like, stunning to me. Like, usually it stunned me for much longer than that, but I was able to keep on. Rolling along. Oh, man, you were waiting for it, weren't you? Come on, come on. I'll do the same thing to you then. Huh? How do you like it? Oh, I want that though. I want this healing. Oh, jeez. No. No. Come on, go for him, go for him, go for him. That was good, that was good. I missed a lot of that though. I mean, more than I could have. I mean, less than I could have. Like, I definitely could have messed up more then. Slap a mender got me pretty decent there. Boom, boom. I have a lead in health right now, so if I need to, I can just try to hang out for the next 25 seconds, but I think I can finish him off given the right opportunity like that. Ooh, come on, buddy. Throw your super move. Throw it, throw it, see what happens. Ooh. Ooh, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Yeah, get out of here. Come on, can I get him? Can I get him? Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close! Oh, I couldn't get him. You survived this time, Mr. Cobra. But you know, maybe next time I'll beat you. And then things will be better. <laughs> okay. Let's do this again. I love this map, though. It's such a cool one. Ooh, ooh. Nice, I almost threw him back on this thing. I wouldn't want that. Ooh, got you right in the face there. That must hurt. You know, like helmet or not. I mean, that's another thing, right? Is it seems like the amount of armor an arms player uses is totally up to them. It doesn't seem like there's any regulation on that. I mean, look at Kid Cobra. He's wearing his skating helmet and what seems to be some kind of face guard. Well, Ninjara doesn't really sport any of that. He does sport, of course, some like chains around his head, but they seem to be more cosmetic. Like, I, like, I wouldn't want to be hit while having chains on my head because that would just hurt my head more. I am missing all of that. That was an awful move. Ooh, oh. All right, buddy, you got your double, which look like fidget spinners, to be honest with you. You got your double fidget spinners. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Oh, oh. oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go, I was able to knock it away. And I got you. I don't knock away grabs all that often, so it feels great when I can. Come on, come on. Yeah, no! Okay, he was able to dodge up pretty well, to be honest. I'm just gonna, he is not even facing the right way. See, that's the really cool thing about this map is that you can really maneuver around that kind of stuff in a different way. Like this map changes things up big time. Like when it comes to the core mechanics of the game, I think that this map is probably the most transformative. And it also has a cool poster Kid Cobra in the background just doing cool skateboard tricks or snake boards, I guess they are called. Come on, can I beat him this time? Are we gonna go into a timeout every time? I mean, I win no matter what, but I wanna get him, there we go. I get the last statement in there. And Cobra versus Ninja, the Ninja wins. Well, there you go, we've won nine rounds so far, or nine matches, or whatever. Now it's time for round 10 against Max Brass. I think we can do it. If we got this far, I think we can handle Max Brass. Well, we're gonna find out. The grand finale is here at last. Listen to that crowd, the fans are fired up. It's Ninjara versus the Kamish Max Brass. His arms are made of belts. He was warned to be a champion. Perhaps it's time to take the arms champion belt to school though. Come on, Ninjara, teach him a lesson. Okay, okay, I'm gonna punch him so quick, so quick. This is a decent combo, so it should work. So apparently you guys were telling me that I, I'm misinterpreting what Max Brass is. Right there, once again, I just hit him and he fell back. That apparently is called a flinch. 
but when he bu he buffs up like this, he doesn't fall back. Apparently that means because when he has that, he doesn't flinch anymore, which I guess could be a positive and a negative, right? Like one thing, that means I can hit him more often because when he flinches, like, I can't hit him when he's on the ground when he's flinching, you know? So that just gives me less time to attack him and it sort of gives a reset point for our battle is when he gets back up. Because at that point, we're sort of a bit even, you know, like we're both getting up and now we can both hit each other. But, you know, that also means he can, I guess, last longer. It's hard to, you know, sort of wrap my head around it for whatever reason. Oh, I almost got him there. Ouch! Who would that last longer than it should have? I mean, I'm sure that he's not gonna be as powerful as he is in this bout, just because, of course, he's supposed to be like the final boss here. Oh boy, come on. But wait, what, you know, that doesn't make any sense now that I'm thinking about it. If Max Brass is gonna be confirmed to character and you can play him through the Grand Prix, who are we going to face in round 10? Maybe just Max Brass as Max Brass? That'd be weird, but maybe there's a little more to that. Oh, I'm excited to see. Either way, we punched him right in the noggin. There's our first round on that one. Actually, wasn't too bad at all. So we're gonna keep with that. Ooh. Oh, I got him a little bit. Oh, you got me, I got you, but yours didn't land, sir. Oh, that landed. <laughs> oh, boy. Gonna not mess around too much. Oh, that was a mistake. Jeez, that was 170. That wasn't the best situation ever, but I got you there. Bada boom. So he's in the lead right now, but not by a ton. Ooh, almost took advantage of you. There we go, now I did it. So now I'm getting health and you ain't. See how that feels? Ooh, oh! So he has his super and I don't have mine. Oh, I think he was about to pull it there. Okay, now he pulled it. Ooh, good for me though, I canceled it out. That's gonna be a big advantage for me going into this right now. Ooh, come on, I gotta grab him. That hurt a lot, but. I almost have my super right now. I don't want him to build up his because he just used it. I don't want to ruin the opportunity I just got. Oh, I got him always in the air there. This way, be able to finish him off. It does. We beat Max Press 2 and 0. Oh, plenty of time, plenty of health. Man, you were easier than Kid Cobra. What do you got to say about that? Oh, man. That was great. Ninjara wins. 40 points for us already. Okay, so what's next? I'm not really sure. Oh, cutscene. You okay there, Maxi? Can it be? Is someone finally taking down the Max Brass? Ladies and gents, the winner today. What? Up in the sky, what is that thing? Whoa, he is creepy. Oh no, Max Brass is glommed onto the Max's head. Kamish, somebody help him. Oh, this thing is a stuff of nightmares. Uh-oh, I think this guy's looking for a fight. Who's gonna take care of this creep? Nobody else but Ninjara. Gosh, he has six arms. What are we gonna do? Arms Grand Prix headlock, oh, I like that. He is like really nightmare fuel, oh my gosh. Can't he be a DLC character? What a turn of events. Victory was a ball but assured, but now there's a party crasher. I can't explain what just happened, but I'm excited to see how this turns out. Good luck, Ninjara, defeat this mysterious monster and save our commish. Oh no. I don't know if this is gonna work out, guys. What did he say? I don't know. Destroy! Oh my gosh, is this even possible? It's gonna be like a Mega Man X situation where I'm supposed to lose and then, you know, Zero comes in and saves me? Oh, no. Jeez. It seems like he has to throw out all three punches at once, though. Like, whatever side, yeah, you see that? Hmm, oh, no, you can have that back. He is destroying me right now. Oh, I got him a little bit! I get you a little bit back! There you go. Come on, oh man, come on, come on. I just need to block that, that's not too bad. Come on! No, you can see he, he threw one on the right and a few on the left there, that time. Or at least his left and his right. But we actually got a grab on him there. Come on, come on. What? I threw my grab there and I think the thing that, this, that gave the healer blocked it. Come on, come on, he, I should not have done it that way. Gosh, I'm awful. I might have to try this a couple times, cause you know, that's just sort of, you know, what is needed. But we're slowly getting him down. Whoa, what was that? He just spit like a fireball at me. Is he Bowser now? Oh, oh, this feels like a Dragon Ball fight though. It's intense. Oh, that's not gonna go towards him. Almost spun it towards him, but not quite. I'm about to die. Ooh. 
block him. What? What? Get out of here with that, sir. Get out of here. He won round one. Do we win round two? Probably not. We'll punch him. See, he has, that's sort of the thing is he sort of still flexes and buffs up like Max Brass does for a moment. Does he take Max Brass's ability as well? I'm not sure. Because he's just ahead. Like everything else about him is Max Brass. Two of the arms are Max Brass. Ooh, got you there. I'm keeping up with him a little bit more. I'm sort of starting to figure it out. I don't think I'm gonna win this round. I think I'm gonna have to have a few more tries. I'm not getting my hopes up. Come on, throw a few more punches, do that one more time. I shouldn't have done that. But I still got him, I still got him. Go ham on him. I shouldn't have done that. Oh no. Come on, come on, show me what you got. Show me what you got. I mean, he definitely has already, but do it again. He dodges so quick. What, I grabbed him. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, I don't wanna hit it. get hit by that again. I said I don't. Rude. You don't need any more health back, dude. I'm not giving it to you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He can throw multiple grabs. Oh, come on. This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna have to, you know, get some practice in with this. Don't give me that attitude. So this seems to be working out a little bit better. I got this and I got, a, okay, I got like one punch on him, so I can't say it's better or worse. Come on, yeah, okay, so we can grab him while he's blocking still, which is good, that's how it's supposed to happen. I'm glad the core mechanics of the game are still intact, but don't let him heal everything I've thrown at him so far, because that seems to be exactly what's happening. Bada bing, bada boom. I think I did more damage to him than he got healed though, which is good. So that means I'm still, you know, I haven't lost too much traction. Yeah, okay, we got him there. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's partially it's luck. Ooh, yeah, have that, have that. <gasps> Ooh, that was good! Yes, 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 yes. Come on, that's what I wanna see right there. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, ooh, yeah! Get out of here, buddy. Can I actually take him out this time? Ooh, that hurt. He's getting mad, he's getting feisty, but I just got him. Round one goes to Ninjara. Nice but I got one more to go. He can still 2-0 me, that's what he did last time. I like the view of the city in the background though. We're just gonna keep with that. I threw it like a chakram out right away. I, that sort of seemed to change the tides of battle for me. Ow, that hurt. Now the, the, this time he got the first hit. Come on, oh, that, he dodged that, he's so quick. He's so speedy. Ow, he is very speedy. Oh, oh come on, his fist moves so quick. He's got the fists of fury, but I'm getting him with this. I got him with this, I got him with this. And that got a quarter of his health out of there. And this is a health booster, which is good. I can knock him out of this and get some health myself. He just gets up so quick though. Like for better or for worse, that's what happens. And he's got his super now, so I gotta be careful. Ooh, I got him with that though. The thing is his super, if I can just figure out how it's gonna get thrown. Oh, that's, that's not what I wanted. Okay, what is happening? Now you have, no, I wanted you to have it. Don't try to re-gift my gift, even if it is a deadly fireball. No, I grabbed them. Yes, that's what I needed. That is what I need. I'm a tiny bit ahead of him. The thing is, is that there is an indefinite timer on the clock, so I can't wait for this to time out. You know, I can't just play, I can't do a little blip of damage and then play keep away the entire time. I gotta win. Ow, and that's not how you win. But I almost have my super. He's not even close to his. Ooh, hit that, hit that, hit that. Ooh, ooh, yes, we did it on the second try. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that just happened. I mean, I know it's level four difficulty. I'm sure some people are like, of course it happens, Zebra, it's easy peasy, but like, that was huge for me. That's my first time ever going against him. We got 20 points for it too, so we got 60 in total there. Awesome stuff. I am really happy with that. Yes, that creep is down for the count. Hold on. I've just received some intel. During a routine experiment at Arms Laboratories, there was a mishap, what? Whoa, that, that light, it's everywhere. Is Max gonna be okay? I'm gonna burp. Uh, whoa, it's gone. What was that thing? When did it come from? Or where did it come from? And will it be back? I wonder. Think I'd look good in a mask? I've been kinda in a rut lately. 
<laughs> but never mind that, how's Max doing? He's just flexing. That's her command, she's flexing like nothing happened. Maybe he doesn't have any memory of it. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? He flexed his little pectorals. Anyway, now that that's over, let's get back to our regular scheduled programming. Jeez, look alive people, the award ceremony is about to begin. Let's take a look at the final results. So look at that, we did all 11 rounds, we went, oh man, we did pretty good. Now that's a score we're celebrating. Count a new arms legend, could a new arms legend be in our midst? I read this every time. Oh, and there's new music. I like it. The winner, the arms grand, and your new grand champion. The student of stealth, Ninjaran. He won, I love how he wears the belt, that's really cool. The title belt makes a nice graduation gift, congratulations. So now he's officially a ninja. As another arms grand prix draws to a close, I'd like to thank all the competitors and the fans at home. See you next time, folks. This is a cool song. Wow. So there we go. We beat it, like we beat hard mode. Is there like actual credits as well? Wow, so if you beat it this way, there's like, I guess this is like the, the real ending, which is cool. I think that you, I don't need to include this this time for you guys because I'm sure you don't want to see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. Okay, so the credits are over. Now what? Oh, look at this. Thanks for playing. We get a little thing. <laughs> Just a little exiting shot, I guess, of him in his ninja academy and he's got his little victory belt. So I guess this is what would be called the true ending is you get a little funny screenshot, which I like, that's pretty darn cool. But that's what to be finishing things up, I think. Well, no, not, so, not, not quite, I forgot. You can now fight in ranked matches, challenge other players and put your arm skills to the test to find out who is the best. Now we're not gonna be doing that today, but I got 60 more points, so we're at least gonna get one round of getting arms done. We'll do it as Ninjar because he's a lot of fun to play. Timer 30, we're just gonna do short timer every time and maybe towards the end we'll be able to do longer timers. But uh, I think, do I get to choose my arms? I guess not. Let's go, we just get these normal arms. Okay, boom, like that. Oh, I hit both at once, an extra five seconds right away. Get that one too. Level up, and you get them, I mean, that's sort of the thing about Ninjara is that he strafes really darn quick. He's my boy. There we go, got that one. And we actually got Ninjara arms. It seems like the first set of arms you get are always the ones as the character you're playing as. It sort of seems that way, at least. Got Twintel arms there. Maybe I could get another clock again, that'd be great. Oh, okay, I got those two. Level up, the timer stops when it does that, which is good. Can I get this at the least? Oh no, oh no, yeah, okay, I got that, that's good. Come on, oh, finish, but I got three arms there instead of two, I think that's a new record for us. So we get one for Ninjara, this is a re-torture, someone put some revolvers together wrong, and now they shoot fire. Happy accidents are the best accidents, and Till they catch you on fire. I think we got those last episodes for another character. We got the uh, Cracker Herd, their generous spread attack. Feels like a party, shooting out stars in a spiral configuration. They just scream, congrats, now burn. Wow. wow. And then she got them too, very cool. So there we go, let's quit for now. But there we go, we, we did very well. We got three of those. We defeated Grand Prix on level four, which is the first time I've ever done that. But So that's gonna go ahead and finish up today's episode of ARMS. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Ninja, so now you've watched it in the video, and now you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.